Man, I say action. Man, COVID was crazy, man. It was a lot of it was a lot of money flowing. It was a lot of lot of money flowing through in, in the time of COVID. So I see y'all was still up and running. Y'all still was working and, and you know doing videos. How many videos like within a month span? Boxed in, regular videos, your videos. How many was y'all, or how many were you shooting within a month during COVID? During COVID shoot, I probably was averaging about maybe one or two personal music videos a week. Then I do about five to eight box tens every Saturday or every weekend or something like that. Yeah. And shit. So it's like I was like, good, probably good 30, 30, 40 a month. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll be getting them things out. You it's edit it, you edit it, I shoot it. Anything I shoot, I edit. Ninety, I say ninety-eight percent of the time, ninety-nine percent of the time, I'm, I shoot and edit. So how, how many uh, estimate? How many hours? About how many hours you think that is? Like, of work, like editing and shooting. Shoot yeah, man, bro, I can't even put a number on it. Honestly, cause this is all I do. I, I shoot and edit all day. If I when I wake up, man, I for, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I edit before I even eat. I forget to eat, cause I be still on the crib all day. You know what I'm saying? Just working. Right. And I'm like, damn. Oh, damn, it's four in the afternoon. I go feed my dogs and eat something. You know, so I be forgetting about my dogs, so I be working. You hear me? They be trying to get me out the house, man. Together, bro. And I got two pocket bullies, man. Majesty and my Apollo puppies coming soon. Stay tuned. So, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, so. bro, I just I'm, I'm a workaholic right now, bro. When you feel like this is this your passion, this is what you want to do for the rest of your life, shoot. This all you want to do. How you been on? How you been on the scene when Wicked was shooting? Yeah. Like my first, like the first weekend he, he invited me down, and I just sat there that whole day and just watched him work pretty much. You know what I'm saying? When I ain't, we talked before, you know what I'm saying? Sat down, chopped it up, but then it was just work time. He was just shooting, I'm just watching. Like we ain't really talking, I'm just watching him work. Just, I'm really like in tune, I'm recording him, see what he doing, you know what I'm saying? How he working stuff. And then the next weekend we came in, I walked in there first, first that, that weekend, he was just like, shoot, I'm gonna let you run these today. And that was it. And I just walked in and shot, shot when the artist came. He didn't sit down and be like, do it like this or do this or do this. He was just like, do your thing. I went in there and rocked out. And I was nervous, though, because I'm like, shit, I hope I'm doing it right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I hope I'm, I'm cool with shit. Just so happened, he was just like, shit, I'm fucking with it. He just kept letting me do my own thing. So, What's the difference What's the difference you see in between the, the, uh, the way you shoot videos and the way we can shoot it? Uh, I say every videographer pretty much got their own own style and signature, you know what I'm saying? But my wicked, I feel like he, he he keep it he keep it clean as hell and simple. He not really big on the effects, but me personally, I, I'm just creative. Like I went to college for on art scholarship, so I just always been a creative person. So I just like to test my limits, see what, what I can do. Like if I see some see something else out here. I'd be like, man, I wonder if I can improve that or create, make it like this or something. So I'm always testing myself, trying to do effects. And my video is based off movement. Like I try to give a lot of movement. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why you see it, probably see the camera swing a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of tra transitions like that. And I'm big on the transitions for real. So you uh, you know, this Buzz TV, this, this Buzz TV Arkansas, right? So yes, sir. you went to school in UAPB. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what's going on. Shout out to UAPB. Tell us about it, man. What was it like going to school? Man, that shit was Palm cool. Love. It was cool as hell. It stank a little bit. <laughs> a little palm love, but hey, it's, it's all love, though. It's my first time walking in my hey, room. I'm like, yeah. damn, fuck is this man? Look this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool as hell, you know what I'm saying? I met some good people down there. That's really, that's really where, where AD started developing. That's where I started growing mentally, uh, yeah, growing mentally and everything, because I started meeting people from different parts of life because where I'm from, Haiti is so small that we don't really get access to certain knowledge and, you know what I'm saying, certain people. So when I went to UAPB, it, you know what I'm saying, put me in a position to network and meet people from all, all over the world. I can go to any state and probably I, I know somebody like, oh, so bro, I'm in town and you show me around, like that's just me able to being able to network. So I'm thankful for UAPB 
just for me being able to network and meet people from all around the world. How big is Atar? Man, what population? Probably about two, two, three, three thousand. Probably less than four thousand. Probably less than four thousand for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we probably got like what two, two, three stoplights in the whole town, something like that. <laughs> no. Nah, four. Man. Man, we got one street that take you all the way through the whole town. You can probably go to the left. You can take that one road and go straight in and out. Every stoplight. Yeah. You can go through every stoplight in the town. So, what's next for AD, man? Man, shit. I feel like we got a lot going on, man. Stay tuned for new music videos and popular artists coming out, bro. I'm just going to do some short films. Like I said, we got we got a lot coming. I just say stay tuned and just stay tapped in because it's gonna go up. Hey, okay. One thing before we get out of here, out of all the box ins and the videos that you done did, uh, <clears throat> what artists like surprised you the most? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, damn, I ain't expect it. Man. Really, my dog is is really real. I fought with Dane Mac and I fought with Lucky Moody. That Dane Mac video, you know what I'm saying? I felt that was when I felt the level up in myself, you know what I'm saying? I, I shot that video, I was just like, damn, I, can, I really can, you know what I'm saying? Kill this shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I really start. I feel like I, I can really put in that work and do this. If I turn this shit up, I can make some noise, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's one level up that, that's something like Dane, you like, Danger is just a solid dude, you know what I'm saying? He always keep it real with me. And Lucky Moody, that man, he got work ethic like me. He really wants this shit. He's passionate about this rap shit. So shout out to my dog Lucky Moody. He putting out, out here putting in work. We putting out work. Every, how much how much Lucky Moody call you, man? Right, it man. Seems, it seems like y'all always doing something. Me and Lucky was on the phone before this interview. You heard me? Me and Lucky, we shoot we try to shoot one or two videos a week. You know what right. I'm we talk we talk every every night. He he be calling me from FaceTime while I'm in the video. Yeah. Like that, my that my dog, man. We we put in, we put out work. He he gonna go, he blowing. Just tap in with him. When when did you first start working with him? Um, my first video with him was uh, I shot Lucky Moody and Lil TK. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was that song? Basically, I shot him and uh, Lucky Moody and uh, Lil TK and Jones for Arkansas. But I shot a video for Cootie Kid. Shout out to my dog Cootie Kid. Check his music out on uh, all platforms, YouTube too. Uh, I shot a video for him, and Lucky Moody was in the video. And so when Lucky saw me shoot the video, he was just, you know what I'm saying, he ended up Say tapping in. Ugly. Oh, uh, ugly, that's what it is. Yo, yo. Uh, uh, uh. That nigga Lucky, that's my dog right there, though. For sure. Uh, but yeah, Lucky Moody, Lil TK, ugly. That was our first video we shot together. And from there, we, we've been taking off. And we shot nagging, that mother bump banging right now Bro. with Nebraska DP. Shout out to Nebraska DP. She working. All right, anybody I'm tied into, bro, we working. I'm gonna keep them motivated. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna make sure you stay on. I'm gonna stay on your ass. You know what I'm saying straight up. Even if you ain't shooting with me, if we tied in, we tied in, we locked in. I'm gonna keep motivating. So, so before we get out of here, man, where do you see? Where do you see yourself in the next three years? Two, three years, like with this. With the videography, with your business. The next two, three years, I see myself, I see myself on a plane, flying a, flying across states, back and forth, saying doing same day shoots. Man, I see myself with other directors working for me, other editors working for me. I see myself with different, different things in my hometown, set up for kids. I want to set up some programs, try to help kids. I really want to get tied in with my school and. To give a course or a class in school over this, over oh, editing video, videography and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I, I know I got some kids that want to learn and stuff like that. So eventually I'm gonna get into that. But right now I just I'm on a mission right now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap into that. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah. Shout out. Uh, yeah. Shout. Drop your social media. Shout out to mom. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my pop. Shout out to my siblings because they had me come up with, with, with Eric and Dream with the name all that. Uh, shout out to Mr. Turnup, shout out to my cousin back in Beasy, shout out to Cootie Kid, shout out to Lucky Moody, shout out to Danger Mac, shout out to everybody who worked with me, all my supporters, anybody who ever shot with me, shot a video for me, anybody who ever hard a picture, hard the video, subscribe to my YouTube, any type of support, I fuck with you, I appreciate every bit of it. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, AD the Shooter, spelled just like that, 
wearing arrogant dot dreams on Instagram, straight up. So, man, give us a drop before you get out of here. All right, you already know. It's your boy, 80 the shooter, man. Come get shot. I'm with Buzz TV. You hear me?